Hey folks, this is all about Androids.com, and today I have Eagle's Blood ICS for the LG G2X. This is the fourth build of Ice Cream Sandwich, but the first for Android open source projects. So this has no Cyanogen Mod 9 parts, simply 100% Google source code. At first glance, you guys can see that it is really smooth, and even transitioning onto the widgets, you can see that it doesn't have those glitches anymore. As you go through the widgets at a fast speed, you can see that even then at that fast speed it does not glitch, which shows how clean and um, optimized the Google source code is. Now this does come with a modified Fox kernel, so the Eagles Blood team has worked together with Fox to get a slightly customized um, kernel. And if you have an app such as SetCPU, like I mentioned before, or even um, Antutu, you can take a look right here. You're able to overclock to 1,400 uh, megahertz. So it is not uh, 1560 megahertz anymore. So it's uh, at uh, 1408. One second. 1408. And again, you can, uh, of course, increase your minimum, your maximum, whatever you would like to have, and simply apply that. At the same time, you can also do the voltages. So I've dropped it by minus 25 for the higher range of frequencies. And of course, your I.O. schedulers. So last um, last time uh, I showed you guys, we had a few of them. Now we got five of them again. CFQ, BFQ. Right now I'm testing out anticipatory. And um, I have to say, I am a, a bit confused of how this one works. So as you can see right there, it's 27% discharge and take a look at the battery graph this is the battery graph which I'm confused it goes up and it goes back back down which I'm not too sure how it works but I have to say it's great battery life after all like I've used it for a while some music again some uh, some book reading on a PDF format and uh, it doesn't seem to be dying so fast but it's a bit weird how it goes up and down up and down up and down but anyways it does a good job in terms of battery life now if you guys take a look at this awesome wallpaper that I have uh, um, set up, Boxer has made a few uh, additions. So if you just hold on the screen, you go to Eagle's Blood Wallpapers. Um, he has added three more. So this one is like a wooden texture uh, wallpaper. This one is a metallic Eagle's Blood look. And this one has like a textured black with a metal strip in the middle that says Eagle's Blood. So I thought that was a nice addition to this build. Of course, it comes with all the beautiful Eagle's Blood uh, parts, so you get your um, tweaked launcher, make it like um, much more less heavier in terms of system requirements, and of course, you can see it's really smooth. It comes with, of course, um, a Deodex and a BusyBox, so you can run scripts and you can customize it in terms of themes or whatever you'd like to have. All the PNGs have been optimized. So all the icons right there, and there's so many tweaks that have been applied to this build that it's 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 crazy. But now let's move on to the settings, and uh, right here you can see it's slightly changed. Over here you get pulse, you get uh, buttons, and uh, let's take a look on the display. You can customize a few things over here. So rotation, you can choose where you like to rotate. So how many degrees? I've just set it up to default right now. I'm not. Uh, playing around too much with that um, auto dim the backlight so there's a bunch of cool features uh, in this build now under developer options you can of course set up your USB debugging but you can use this feature right here kill app back button basically once you check that normally when you press back it never closes the app it just goes back and the app is still active while if you run any other app you can simply hold on the back button and it kills it for you. So you just hold for a while, let go, and killed it for you. So which, which basically helps in terms of RAM and in terms of um, basically usage of the phone's resources. Now it's removed. Also, in Ice Cream Sandwich, there's always a notification saying you have the US keyboard or Android keyboard set up or swipe, whatever keyboard you have installed. But now that that has been removed from the status bar and uh, the browser comes with incognito mode so let's look for the browser uh, right there and once it loads you can tap menu you can uh, incognito 
mode or you can like use these short keys to open up the menu same thing and it allows you to do that um, the music app has been removed and replaced and um, that's basically a summary of what comes with this um, build now there are some few um, bugs on the list and currently right now hold on power there's no screenshot button right now but it will be added soon and if ever you do reboot it goes into clockworks mod recovery um, for some people it was able to go to clockworks mod and after that it kept on rebooting perfectly fine with no needing to go to clockworks mod and then pressing the power button again but for me it seems to still be around which uh, I'm not too sure why but it sticks around on my phone some other people say that it has been fixed so definitely the um, devs are working to um, improve this ROM again. This is just the first build for the 100% uh, Google source code and I expect a lot in the future. That's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. This was all about Andrews.com. Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. We'll really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account as well as a Twitter. Please add us there as well. Thank you very much.